You were right about its learning potential. No, I was wrong. I think he's learned a lot more than I ever thought possible. What's your name, son? My name is Daryl. And what you doing up in these parts? Hmm? I don't know. Physically, he's 100%. But he is suffering substantial amnesia. He doesn't remember parents, home, anything like that. He handles it well, though. So you can certainly go ahead. We'll find a family that wants to look after you until uh, your own folks come and take you home, OK? Howie came by the site today. And they have a kid at the center. He's a boy. He's 9 or 10 years old. I don't get it. You remember how to read. You remember your name. Stuff like that. But you don't remember your family, your school. You've got brothers or sisters. It doesn't make sense. I love Daryl. I really do hope we'll be able to adopt him. It's just he doesn't seem to need anybody. All knowledge is learning and therefore good. Daryl, come on, let's go. What is this? Daryl's an experiment in artificial intelligence. He was never meant to leave here. And he was certainly never meant to be with people. Holy shit. He's a robot? Doctor? What am I? They want to know how you do that. As a matter of fact, so do I. I can sort of read what a computer is doing. You can control it. Welcome to task. Look at him. He's just a little boy, flesh and blood. Thanks to Dr. Mulligan's mistakes, we now know a lot more about Daryl's potential than we did before. Baseball, friendships. Maybe we need an adult version of this prototype. The Youth Life Form project as of now is terminated. D-A-R-Y-L goes to the scrap. Understood. Pictures presents Daryl.